Hello and welcome to the JS Music School YouTube channel. In this third video and blog on the cage system, we're going to be looking at how to move minus seven chords up the neck. Okay, these are really great chords. Um, you're going to use in loads of variety of genres. Um, they really kind of can spice up your playing and become an alternative for sort of standard minor chords. Okay. Um, so the first two blocks we looked at major chords. So again, C, A, G, E, D shapes. We did that with majors. Then we did it with um, major seven. Okay, really nice chords. And now minor sevens. Okay, okay. So again, if you look at the uh, pictures on the blog, um, these can be found at jsmusicschool.co.uk. Um, they also pop up on your screen. Um, so we'll just go straight into it, okay? So the C shape, okay, middle finger, third fret, A string. This actually has no fifth in it, but it doesn't matter. It's a really nice chord. Okay, this one can be moved up. C minus seven. Okay, and now we're going to be looking at A minus seven, okay? So this is simply A minor without your... Um, third finger, and that open G string contains that uh, minor seventh note. We'll look at theory and understanding how these chords are made up a little bit later on. Okay, so that's A minor seven. Okay, G minor seven, great chord. Um, what I do here is I use my third finger to bar the D, the G, and the B strings. I kind of have it arcing a little bit, so it's that one's muted, the high E string's muted, the A string's muted as well, it's being covered up by my um, finger there, so it's really kind of, uh, kind of funky kind of chord there. So it's G minor, uh, G minor 7. Again, this one does, you don't have to move your, change the finger around, there's no strings, just like the C shape. Now we're going to be going for E minor 7. A really simple chord actually. It's just like E minor without your third finger. It can be a little bit clay in the open position, a lot of open strings really. But when you move that shape up, it sounds really cool. Okay. So the idea is what you have to do is instead of using your middle finger, use your third finger, then use your first finger to block off those open strings. Okay. And then so this one here will be F minor seven. G minor 6, this is the E shape. B minor 7, and so on. It's a really nice chord. Um, yeah, some of that Doobie Brothers um, under the bridge uses types of chords. Uh, Boys are back in town, you know, Thin Lizzy, great chords. Um, okay, so um, that's the E shape. Now the D shape. Okay. Again, also in songs, you're going to remember that. I mean, there's three real essential types, major seven, minor seven, dominant seven. And often on tabs and books, you'll get these, conf you'll get these confused. Okay, they're completely different chords. So this is the D shape. So here I'm buying the, um, the first fret, B and E strings. Okay, middle finger, D string. Okay, this is a slightly, you know, for your, use your fingers a little bit differently for this one to move this up the neck, okay? So here I use my first finger um, uh, where, on the D string of the root note, little finger there, and then middle and third fingers. So again, a really, really cool, nice chord. And use these parts of the chords um, as well for riffing. Okay, so that's the uh, D shape, okay? Okay, cool. So now what we'll do is we'll move it up in just one particular key, okay? Because it's really um, useful to be able to play my seventh chords, you know, in, in all different types of keys. And it'll give you different options, you know, depending on what type of song you're writing or, or learning. It might sound like a treblier kind of chord voicing on the track. So you might want to go for a D shape, yeah, instead of a more bassy kind of uh, sounding chord. So, what we'll do is we'll do B minor seven, okay? So we'll do B minor seven now. In order to determine what the first available one is, okay? So um, you, the idea is you'll pick the first B flat on the neck. You need to find that. And all these chords either have their roots on the E, B, 
the A or the D string, okay? So again, he's gonna help you learn your notes on the next. There's lots of benefits for doing this. So, um, so our first B flat is there. Now our A and our C shape start from this, the A string, but you couldn't use the, the C shape because it goes beyond the neck. So A minor seven, now is a, a, a B flat minor seven in the A shape is our first available shape. Okay, and then follows the word cage. So now we're doing G shape. So our B flat of the low E string. The root notes for the G and the E shapes are the same. So just take that root note and now do the E shape. Okay. And use this great octave pattern there to find the D shape. Okay. Okay, and now we are doing Okay, so it's middle finger, B flat on the, um, the A string, okay? So we'll do that one more time. So B flat minus seven, A shape, B flat minus seven, G shape, B flat minus seven, E shape, B flat minus seven, uh, D shape, B flat minus seven, C shape, okay? Practice these up the neck. Really great, really great chords, okay? Um, again, do that with your major sevens and the major chords in the last block. Um, we'll do dominant sevens next, uh, really great bluesy chords. So any comments or suggestions, feel free to uh, comment or um, in the YouTube um, video blog uh, or in the actual uh, blog itself at jsmusicschool.co.uk. Um, okay, so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.